Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about applications of walks, paths, trails, and circuits. So let's take a minute to recall the definitions of walks, trails, and paths. They are related to each other. A walk is any sequence of consecutive edges and vertices in a graph. Basically, you can go anywhere you want in the graph as long as you don't fall off the edge. A walk with no repeated edges is called a trail, and a walk with no repeated edges or vertices is called a path. Let's consider this example. So on Halloween, a group of children is dropped off to go trick-or-treating on the corner of First Street and Nottingham Circle. They're going to be picked up at an arranged time and place. And if the houses are considered the vertices and the edges are the segments of roadway between them, we're going to use the given information to determine if their route is a walk, path, trail, or more than one of these. So in part A, the situation is that after being dropped off at the corner of First and Nottingham at the green dot, they're going to visit each house on Nottingham Circle without backtracking and end at the corner of Nottingham of Nottingham Circle and 2nd Avenue at the red dot. So they're going to go from here to here to here to here to here to here to here. And we want to know is that a walk, path, trail, or more than one of these? It's got to be a walk. They haven't gone off-roading. They haven't gone off the graph. There are no rules for walks except for following along the graph. They've gone from vertex to vertex using the edges. That's a walk. A path has the extra restriction that they don't visit any edges twice. Since there was no backtracking, that means that they didn't visit any edge twice, so this is going to be a path as well. And a trail is a path in which no vertices are visited twice. In other words, it's a walk in which no edges or vertices are visited twice. And we didn't visit any of the houses twice, so again, because there's no backtracking, it's also a trail. So this is actually all three. It meets the requirements for all three. Now let's consider another scenario. This time, they're still gonna start at the green dot at the corner of Nottingham Circle and First. They're gonna visit house to house until they get to Second Avenue. Then they're gonna take a left. And they try the houses on Second Avenue, but no one's answering the door. So they backtrack and they try the houses again. And then when they get to the red dot at the corner of 2nd Avenue and Nottingham Circle, they get picked up. Is this a walk? Yes. They stayed on the graph. They didn't go off into the grass anywhere. <laughs> they didn't skip any vertices. They did everything they were supposed to do. So is this a path? Well, the answer to that is no, because they covered several edges more than once. These three edges were covered more than once. In a path, you're not allowed to visit or cross any edges more than once. And by the way, that means that it cannot be a trail either. Why? A trail has an even more strict requirement, and that is that not only can it not hit the edges, but it can't hit vertices more than once. Both things have occurred here. It hit edges and vertices more than once. This was actually only a walk. We still need to talk about circuits, so we'll start with the term closed. So what does it mean for a walk, trail, or path to be closed? Well, when a walk, trail, or path begins and ends at the same vertex, we call it closed. So you can have a closed walk, a closed trail, or a closed path. Just to make our lives a little more confusing, we do have uh, <laughs> extra terms that we use for a closed trail and a closed path. A closed trail is called a circuit, and a closed path is called a directed cycle. So let's consider this application. In a baseball game, a batter must start at home plate, run to first, second, and third bases in that order, and return to home plate in order to score a point for their team. Would this be considered a closed path? In other words, a directed cycle. Why or why not? Okay, so um, if you're not familiar with a baseball diamond, we have home plate, and then we have first base, we have second base, and we have third base. And so in order to score a run and get a point for the team, the batter has to hit the ball, and then before the ball gets back to him or her, 
travel to first and then to second and then to third and then back to home. All right, so first of all, we can observe that since it starts and ends at the same position, this is closed. So is this a circuit? Well, a circuit is a closed trail and a trail only visits each edge once. So yes, this is a circuit. Actually, this would also be a closed path since it only visits each vertex once. So this is also a directed cycle. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Miss Her in Mathematics, for more math videos.